but I can demonstrate to anyone with a bad website how much better I can make their website by simply asking them, uh, what's the name of your website? Or I can just look it up on their website. What's the name of your company? What's the name of, of you know, whatever I see I want to update, right? Just so I can show them the name of the CEO or the owner. Is it the CEO or the owner? I can change that, right? Okay. Now look, just as fast as I change this information, I can show them the page and have them refresh it. Okay. Whoever I want to show this to. And it starts to immediately update everything. I can ask them to take a look at the um, About Us page. And we'll see that it's Acme Plumbers now. Been serving the Atlanta area since beginning year of business. I can make that a variable. So I can ask, uh, when, when did you start your business? And how many years have you been in business? We can have our Anna Stevens, who is now in charge of Acme Plumbers, as the CEO I didn't put in or I should have. Uh, there's the phone, you know, whatever. There's the email address. And I can change all of those things really fast right up in here. You see? And because I can do that, I can very, very quickly and efficiently make these pages work for other people and help them understand what's happening here. POS. And let me do this. I'm going to open this and just check something really quick. Whoops. There we go. Aha. POS1 is the owner. So that shouldn't say POS. Oh, it should say POS1. I saw a broken link and I am fixing it, just making it match. There, now we got it. Hannah Stevens owner. Okay. This is how easy it is now to get everything done the right way, the way you really want it done. You understand? How much easier you could have your, your discount, your coupon code, that could be a variable. So that wherever you're talking about the new customer discount, that would be the code you're using as you're editing the pages. And look, I can just edit the page, go to the bottom. Make sure it says what it's supposed to, like promo, new customer discount. It does. Then I can go change it. It doesn't have to be $45. It can be some other amount, whatever I put there for the promo. I forget where it is. <laughs> You'll get used to these as you use them, and you can also make them, you know, um, let's say 50 I don't know, $60 discount, right? And again, go back, refresh. So, yeah, you can quickly use some information off the guy's site, the guy's name, the guy's location, guy's phone number, guy's email address. Um, maybe throw in some images for the guy if you want. Throw in the logo for the guy. Throw in, you know, phone number and their days of operation. And you can just show them very quickly and they can see what you're doing and get really excited because they develop a sense of ownership over it. They start to really want it. Okay, That's a different conversation about how you pitch and what works and why right now i wanted to get you through how this back end works and how easy it is to use and manipulate and i will go so far as to say this for those who are wondering do you have does this have to be a plumber website no you can change every bit of coloring you can change all of the verbiage you can change all of the images and all of the text you can change anything you want. And by the way, this is going to be variable later. It's You can plug this in or just plug in a two bar that goes here. And I'll show you on some other designs later. But let me just show you another example. We've been talking about plumbing the whole time. What about landscaping? What if you saw it with landscaping? Okay. And again, everything operates the same way. I can go into the landscaping admin panel separately. See landscaping variables that I can change separately where I can import and export and save variations for different guys I'm doing things for different logos different emails different everything that applies okay and these are already set up and ready okay so and again this will work the moment this thing is uploaded to a website it automatically works no one has to spend time trying to program things in and this can be just really really cool and you can say the messages you want Put your services out in the ways you want. Make your comments, featured services, Facebook, testimonials, in whatever order you want. YouTube video up here, whatever you want. And in the order you want, all of your pages can be just the way you want them to be. Okay, with everything in it, complete with the variables. So you can quickly plug in other people's variables and you can decide how much to charge them for the work you want to do for them. But it's up to you. Okay, 
this is what we did. We created an admin panel for HTML <laughs> to generate full-size, strong HTML websites, which Google loves because they're coded simply and correctly, and they're not plugging and playing tons of stuff as much as they're running hard-coded pages off. This is very cool all the way around, and for once, you can get a landscaper site, and what are you going to do? You just find landscapers that have bad sites and offer them better sites. What do you do with a plumber one? You find landscapers with bad sites and offer them better sites. How do you do that? Let me just show you. I mean, let me show you how simple this is. Let me close out of all that for one minute, just to make the point. Let me go to South Bend. Um, plumber, okay. All right, South Bend Plumber. And I'm just going to say the guys on the first page probably don't need me. They are probably doing well. But guys on deeper pages, page two, page three, page four. Let me just start on page three, okay. These guys down here, wherever they are, let me just start opening links to mom and pop stores, mom and pop plumbers, not big guys, the small guys, the guys who need help, the guys who aren't getting sales from their sites because they don't know how. Now, I'll tell you what, here's a word on this. This site, well, this doesn't look terribly bad the way it is, right? I'm getting this funny buzzing in my ear. <laughs> this may or may not look kind of bad. It looks a little cheesy. Aye, aye, aye. Let me kill that noise. Okay, I did. All right, this looks horrible, doesn't it? Can you believe this? Now, maybe the guy likes his site. Maybe he does not, right? It's hard to say. But what is the real rule for whether a guy's going to like their site more or your site more? First of all, there's no guarantee. They might like their site or yours. All you can do is point out what you can do for them and let them understand. But first things first, this is good. It's not too much information. It's easily arranged. You get the points. You get the offers. Okay. This may be a little silly. It's hard to read some of this stuff. Okay. And it's kind of hard to feel where you want to go in here. It's almost too much. Okay. This is just sort of cheesy all the way around. It might do the job. It might. Okay. But the reality check is how, how do you, you know, how can you tell whether a guy likes his website or not? And the answer is tra people transfer in their minds it's a transference principle if they are making a lot of money with their site then they feel like their site is great look at this he doesn't even have it spelled correctly no job is too small or too big to <laughs> that's okay but what's my point if he's making a lot of money with the site he feels like it's a great website okay that's how people click right if he's not making a lot of money with the site then he transference. He wishes his site was making him money, but it feels like it lets him down. So when you show him something like this, okay, the glass is going to be half full. He's going to see it as promising. He's going to see it as interesting, and he wants to get a copy of this and see what it's like. So as long as he can give you content to work with, or you can just grab content from somewhere, if I'm getting content for this website, it is simple. I literally copy it go into my admin panel and go to that page and paste it in the block and then just manipulate it to get the headers right the paragraphs right and I find the image grab it and upload it and I have it right but in this template I get the guy a new image we're gonna give you a lot of information about how this works and how to do this and how quickly you can line up sales matter of fact one of the best things you can do is what take a guy copy their information home comfort experts heating cooling plumbing great do it uh, plumbing experts, heating, cooling, plumbing, right? And then put some stuff in and go in the variables and change it to look like them, their place of business, their name, their whatever it is, okay? And what are you going to do after that? Just take a screenshot, take a snapshot of the whole page so you can save it as a JPEG and send it to them. Say, hi, I saw your site and I think I can make it look a lot better. <laughs> what do you think of this? If you like it, give me a call. Let's talk. Then when he gives you a call and he's excited, find out who he is, upload that VAR sheet if you were saving them, right? The global variables and you had names for each of them. So you call one of them home comfort experts so that when the guy calls and says he's from home comfort experts, you can go in your admin panel and import that one real quick. So everything updates immediately, right? All the colors that you were saving, believe me, you can save those colors. I didn't show you that so much, but you can save those forms so that you never lose them. And you could save it with the guy's name or whatever you want to do. Um, what's the other point? 
when people see it, they feel a sense of ownership and they want it. Okay. Now, you do not have to stick with plumbers or landscapers. They're just pre-built to make it easy for you. Okay. An easy way to get making money really fast. There's an, if you sent out five of those attachments in a nice letter, you're basically copying and pasting. But is it bulk email? No. Because you're sending a particular message to a particular guy about that particular website. You're sending another message to another guy about that particular website. So you're just changing some variables. Maybe you're testing some different color combinations. And you're sending some images and see who calls you back. And you just line up sales like that. It's not hard. Transfer their information onto the pages. Use the variables to make it easier. And guess what? You're just chunking out wonderful sites for these guys. Now, do they rank? Maybe if you're copying and pasting the guy's code, maybe, but if you didn't see this, this is the last thing I guess I should show you real quick, just in case you didn't catch it before. Let me do this. Okay. If you didn't see it on the pages, at the bottom of the pages, SEO friendly fields. So you can get the page title, right? What shows up in the tab, all right, for the pages in here. You can do keywords if you want. And you can put your meta description if you want. And another point, if you're not noticing, yes, you can use variables. You can use variables for that. You can use variables in lots and lots of places. On the banner slider, you can use the variables in here. You can use variables. You can use company in here. You can use click more to read about Bob, the owner. You know, you can use the variables uh, for, you know, whoever it is you want to talk about. And, and for other elements, you can do it too. The modules, you can use the variables. And not just that, the left sidebar, you can use the variables. The featured services, you can use the variables. You can even use variables for the page names, okay? Anything you can think up, you can create. You can create duplicates of pages and tweak them and use variable names so that you know which ones you wanna turn on and which ones you wanna turn off guy by guy. If you find that often a bunch of guys do not do exterior, exterior services, you can flip that whole section on or off. If you find that they do, but no one wants to go in the sewer, they all want to thaw the pipes. You can just turn off the sewer, okay? Turn it on. Uh, all that kind of thing is doable. You've got all that choice, and this is the beginning. When we built Moji, the toolbar especially, we just kept going. Heck, we did the same thing with the Moji HTML side of the house, the Moji Pro. We kept going. We built many variations on it until we felt like we had conquered the world <laughs> with everything we wanted in the way of power. Well, here is everything you could want, but it's easy enough for anyone to use. And the when I was showing this in the webinar, people were flipping out because they said, and, and this is basically it. Some people said they like it because it's safer than WordPress, believe it or not. Other people said, and most of them said, I like it because you just erased all the work I go through all the time. If I can just streamline the work, great. I am happy selling to plumbers. I am happy selling to landscapers. Better versions of their website than the ones I saw them have. Many of these guys have cheesy websites. Just so you know, too, let me show you some more templates. We are working on a bunch right now. Okay, These are going to come out as part of the package, just so you know. Okay. There's one for homeopathy, all right? This is our, and this is our first one. We'll probably wind up doing more later. And not just that, but different people will wind up creating templates themselves. And that day will come when other people are creating templates and offering them up, like for sale uh, or for exchange. Hey, I'll do, give you a template if you help me with something else or trade you a template. But take a look, homeopathy. Again, same kind of a template, same convertible concepts, just a different layout. What's next? Well, law. How's that? You want to do a law and let the this thing calmly say what it wants to say from image to image in whatever order, and it shows up looking like this? That's a good one, right? What's next? 